Okay guys, back on the ethanol plant again. This time I'm doing the fermentation tanks. And as you can see up the top picture, the kit is for three fermentation tanks and one beer well and fermentation building. So I will build this one and we'll see what she looks like. Okay guys, this is all the parts. They look like the tops, the base, or bases. Decals and the shed, and then all the parts for all the tanks. So it looks like I have to cut all them off. So I'll go ahead and cut all them, and we'll see what happens. And also instructions on how to build the tanks. Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and start the build. Okay guys, I'm doing the beer well first, which is obviously a, a bigger tank and as you can see the part number for the tank is 5 slash 6 now that's the bottom 6 now the next 18 are a different size so they are number 3 they call them to do the other 3 tanks so just be careful if you ever chopping them up they're different sizes compared to these three. And I've already cut some up. Okay guys, back on the fermentation tanks. Now I'm using two glues. I'm using the Reval, Reveal or Reveal to join all the bands together. But also, I'm going to use a liquid poly cement for when I put all the pieces to, on top of each other. That way, I won't have any holes in the seams when they join here because the poly cement will sort of melt into it. But to start, I'm going to use this one. Now you've got bands on each end and obviously the, the smallest band starts on the bottom so your biggest band or your longest band will be pointing upwards. Then you just join them like so. You keep going around. Until you get to the last one and then you can you get time to put them in the right spot and the last one you just put one on each side And that's the first band. And 
just line them up. So that's the first one. Okay guys, now that all the, the rims have been done, now I have grooves in here, oh where am I, if you can see it, now they go on into these notches, so the way to do it is you start off in the groove, and slowly work yourself around until it fits in like so but if you can see on the camera you can see how they you could just about see through some of the rims or some of the joints now this is where this poly cement will come in handy because it sort of melts the plastic so anyway so what I'm going to do is I will use the poly on the notches and that way the notches will hold it together and then I'll glue inside or glue on the notches in here So with a bit of firm pressure on the rim, rims or the sides, they'll eventually close up
and you just keep repeating the steps until you get it all right. So all you've got to do now is just keep putting it in uh, spots where you think you've got a gap and just keep putting a bit of pressure on and she'll come out alright. And these notches get trimmed off for when the, the roof goes on. So I'll just keep playing around with it. Okay guys, all the tanks are now being glued. As you can see, the tops aren't on yet, though, they're just sitting there. So the next part is the shed and where the tanks join up, which is all these parts. And the roof. So I will glue these together. Now, as in all the other builds I've done, all this will still be the one colour. So I won't be having a grey roof. It will still be the, the colour I'm using. The silk colour. But in this, I am going to glue all the sheds together. And then I'll paint it, because this area you're not going to see. So I'll go ahead and glue all that. Okay guys, just now gluing the shed together and as you can see there's notches on here and there's also a notch on the wall so they, you know they join right in. So all I've got to do is glue on the raised notches. So, and the same all the way around.
so I'll keep carrying on. Okay guys, now the sides are done. Now I've just got to put the roof on. As you can see, I've got the grooves that will fit on the side, on the top sides. So that should go like so. So I'll put the glue in the channels. Okay guys, I undercoated the tanks in a primer grey and now I'm going to paint them a titanium silver. Okay guys, the tanks are now completely finished. So they come up pretty good. The shed is now completely painted. Okay guys, the fermentation tanks is completed. The only thing I haven't done is obviously the, the solos. I just haven't glued them to the to the shed because of I just want to make sure I get these railings on top right before I actually glue it. Because so I've got that the pack of the fermentation tank details. But for this scene, it is finished. Just weathering to do. Now the colour of the tanks, if I didn't say before, is titanium silver. And this side of the shed will butt up against the processing centre. But that's what she looks like all painted up. I'll just go around back to the front. I'll put the air vent on too. So I'll call this one a wrap as well. Just a couple more to go. Thanks for watching.